Hi guys, so I'm finally here with my June reading wrap up. Um, I'm sorry it's so delayed, but I actually got sick towards the end of June. Um, I got tonsillitis and it just kind of made me miserable for well over a week. I was still coughing, I wasn't sleeping very well. Um, and then just after that, the UK basically, we're, we're in some sort of heat wave at the moment. Um, We've had like 33 degree weather, which is not something we are used to and something that I am not built for. Um, so I really didn't want to sit up in my room where it's quite warm and film. Today it's still quite warm and quite sunny, but it's less hot than um, it has been. So it's actually quite pleasant. So I thought I would take this opportunity to film. Um, plus it's been too hot to put makeup on and, you know... I feel like I have to put a little bit of a face on before I, I record. But anyway, I read six books in June. Um, I've got them written down in front of me so that I can remember. So the first book that I read was Say You'll Remember Me by Katie McGarry. Um, I'm a big Katie McGarry fan. Her Pushing the Limits um, series is one of my all-time favourites. This one I did enjoy, but is not my favourite book by her. Um, it's about a boy called Drix, and I cannot remember the girl's name for the life of me. Um, but anyway, he has spent time in sort of like a youth offenders prison, and then he's been put on some program to sort of change his life, um, and the senator wants to use him as the poster child to show how amazing um, the program is but actually he didn't commit a crime but how the system is and how it fails people means that it actually meant that he had to do the time because he couldn't afford you know the proper representation to prove he didn't do it um, but then he ends up spending time with the senator's daughter and they end up sort of forming a relationship it was a really good book um, but for me it wasn't my favorite of hers um, and I gave it four out of five and the next book that I read was Stay With Me by Kristen Proby. This was a nice book for me to read because it, it's going back to, I think, Kristen Proby's first series, which was With Me in Seattle, which is the series um, that got me into reading, um, what do you call it, With me, um, Kristen Proby, I can't speak. Um, that's what got me reading her books and she's decided to sort of go back to that series. And it was really good, it was about, uh, I can't remember their names. See this is the problem when you're so late to film in your wrap ups is that you forget people's names. Um, but the main female protagonist is a beauty blogger, which is really cool. It's really cool to see someone that has their job, you know, record videos and um, post them on YouTube, you know, because that's a life as someone that watches a lot of YouTube. Um, you know, I follow people like that and her um, falling for her neighbour. Um, who's an architect. It was really cute, really sweet. It was typical Kristen Proby contemporary romance and I really enjoyed it and I gave that four out of five stars also. Um, after that I then read Breathe With Me by Kristen Proby. Somehow when I was adding Stay With Me to my Goodreads, um, I was going through and just sort of refreshing myself of the With Me in Seattle series and I was like, you know how you pull down the list on Goodreads of a series and they all said, you know, red, 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 red. But Breathe With Me did not say red at all. I have somehow managed to completely skip this book in my reading of the With Me in Seattle series and it is, I think, the penultimate book to the last, like, before Stay With Me. Um, it was the penultimate book, so I have no idea how I didn't read it. But anyway, I went back and read that. And this was a second chance romance novel. Um, again, I, I remember the female's name was Meredith. I think uh, the guy's name was Mark because they refer to themselves as Eminem, which is just, it's cute. Um, and they were together... Um, as teenagers and then when it went when it came to time for them to go to college Meredith breaks things off because she knows that she has to work really hard at dance and as much as she loves Mark um she won't be able to concentrate which I kind of I don't really like second chance romances because I, I prefer it when it's two characters meeting for the first time getting to know each other you know that whole build up um however this was a nice book and you know, I did enjoy it, it's Kristen Proby, um, and I again ended up giving it 4 out of 5, I did enjoy it. Um, the next book that I read was For the King by Jenica Snow. 
this book I did not enjoy. You can't even really call it a book. It's more of a short story slash novella. Um, and it's a bit of an odd one. It's supposed to be, I think, like an erotic romance, but nothing about it was erotic whatsoever. Um, it's about a king who has seen this girl. I think she's a florist. Um, he's somehow just seen her out and about and he just basically wants her to be his queen but you know has never met her doesn't know her from Adam she only knows him as you know the sovereign and he decides basically to pluck her off the street and propose to her and it was just odd didn't enjoy it one out of five just no um, I'm knocking things over now <laughs> the next book that I read was marrying the rebel prince by Janet Glover I ended up really enjoying this book. Um, it's about a prince who's kind of, not a bad boy, but he kind of has that image. Um, and he has to have, um, I think it's for his 30th birthday, a royal portrait done. And to be difficult, he picks sort of an unknown artist, not like a royally approved artist. Um, but it's a big break for her. Um, it was kind. It was obviously a romance novel, um, but I liked. It was very. It was slow building, um, and it was just nicely done. It wasn't. There wasn't really any um, sex scenes in here. It was all about um, the connection of them together. It was really sweet. I ended up really enjoying it and giving it sort of three point five out of five. Um, it was a nice surprise because it was um, one from NetGalley. Um, but yeah, I ended up enjoying that one. And then the last book that I read in June, and then when I actually finished it, um, I couldn't pick up another book straight away. Um, I ended up not picking up a book, I think, for about a week, I think. Um, I finally read Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This book was very big when I sort of first started YouTube, I think, around that time. It was a very popular book and I bought it literally when it came out, when it was um, sort of all hyped and, and everything. And I never picked it up and it was such a good book, um, but it kind of really <laughs> upset me. It made me cry. It was very hard to read. It's a very difficult subject. It's about a brother and sister that are very close in age um, and their mum is not much cop, she's basically useless and they have to really raise their siblings and um, they have a tough life and they end up basically falling in love with each other um, which you think sounds obscene and awful and I mean it is but the way that it's written is you kind of can't help but feel for them and feel sorry for them because their situation has kind of brought it about so you end up feeling very sympathetic for these characters but obviously with the whole setup it is not a book that is going to have a happily ever after and it was just a very sad book for me and I did cry and yeah I just wasn't ready to pick up another book straight afterwards but it was a fantastic book I gave it five out of five um most people have read that book by now but if you haven't um, it won't be for everybody but it is such a well-written book and I think because it's a little bit outside of the norm for my reading I think I enjoyed it all the more so that's everything that I read in June guys if you read and have read any of these books let me know in the comments down below I always love to know thank you so much for reading watching even god you can tell that I haven't made a video in goodness knows how long. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all soon. Happy reading.